And joining us right now, Adam Knapp, the CEO of the Baton Rouge Area Chamber, to talk about a program called the Paycheck Protection Program. Obviously has a great name amid these quite confusing times. Adam, thank you so much for joining us here. Thank you for having me. All right, it's my pleasure. So uh, just to get viewers uh, up to date here, the Paycheck Protection Program, what is it? So the, the federal government passed uh, some, some landmark legislation helping all aspects of the economy uh, just last week. And the Payroll Protection Program, uh, or it's known by the, the acronym PPP, uh, is a program to help businesses uh, get needed capital. Uh, all kinds of businesses get needed capital right now. And, and incredibly, it has a loan forgiveness uh, feature that uh, for eight weeks of your payroll and other related expenses, uh, it's going to provide a forgiveness of that loan uh, for the eligible period. So for a lot of companies, this is a lifeline of capital to keep people employed uh, while COVID-19 has our, our, our economy as a country on ice right now. Yeah, of course, and we've been seeing, you know, as recently as yesterday, some, some of that news of Baton Rouge businesses getting um, hit quite hard at this point. But how, how has this pandemic compared to anything you've seen as far as economic troubles uh, here in Baton Rouge particularly? It's unlike anything. Our experiences are, you know, we think of the 2016 flood in Baton Rouge or the Katrina Rita period, and, and everybody listening knows that this is nothing like that. And the, the nature of what it's doing across the economy and having uh, so many aspects of our economy put on hold right now. And, uh, you know, that interim final guidance, uh, if I'm looking at it correctly here, this Paycheck Protection Program has a 1% interest rate for now. Um, would you consider that a pretty attractive rate here for the lenders and borrowers alike? It, it's an incredibly uh, attractive rate. And what I want to stress is this is a program that goes through your banks or through the banking community, not through the Small Business Administration. So many of us are familiar with the SBA mm -hmm. uh, from after the 2016 floods or after Katrina. This is a program you'll go to your bank and talk to them about your eligibility to apply. The information to apply is all available on the internet, um, but you talk to your banker about submitting your application. Uh, that 1% interest rate that you're referring to is the interest rate that you would pay uh, on the, on the two-year amortization of the notes. Uh, but uh, remember, this is a portion of this, a big portion of this is forgivable. So you can have that, uh, that, that forgiveness available as long as you're using it to pay for the payroll and keeping your people employed and following the guidance of how to do so. The application is quite a simple application, uh, but talk to your banker about how to get access to it. There's the most important step is get in touch with your banker about how to take advantage. Right, certainly. And that list of uh, bankers, uh, the ways to apply, uh, how can businesses apply at this point? Are there, there forms online available? How does that conversation the, the, So I, I would encourage folks, after you talk to your bank, they will have the applications. You can find them on the internet. It's the same application for everyone. Uh, the process you go through and you work with your banker on their their process for how to submit it. But you can do that today. It opened up yesterday on Friday uh, to be able to take advantage of it and, and you can start submitting immediately. Um, we encourage everybody who needs it, who sees that critical path uh, necessary for them uh, to go and investigate whether this is the right answer for them. Uh, the, the, the website that I want to give everybody that has a lot of recovery information, including the details about this program is our website for the, the Baton Rouge Area Chamber, uh, www.brac.org backslash recovery. If you just go to brac.org, you'll see the link for our recovery information. A lot of information up there, including the application for the payroll protection program. Hmm. Obviously, just one resource that uh, business owners can utilize at this point. Now, beyond this program, what will it take for businesses to bounce back here? So right now, everyone is just trying to make sure they have a path through every week. I don't think that you'll, you're hearing a lot of folks know as we all are, are, are wading through this uncertainty together, unfortunately. And, and what I, I know is employers are making every, every effort to, to plan uh, and take care of their people if they can. Uh, and then for those who can't, the, the federal government and the state have a enormous safety net right now through the unemployment insurance program. Uh, and that has been a, a critical lifeline as well for those workers that are seeing their hours reduced, getting furloughed, getting laid off, that they're applying for the state unemployment insurance program. Uh, and those checks have been have been rolling out uh, these past two weeks as well, uh, getting cash into people's hands who are 
personally being impacted by this, and so many right now are hurting from, from the impact of this. We are hoping, of course, that at some point soon the economy could reopen, but first and foremost is the safety of the community. And uh, and so that's uh, that's what employers are trying to do is make sure that they have the, the capital to be able to keep going, to pay their people, to find a new way through, whether it's pivoting their company, being able to work remotely, uh, or, or somehow making it through. Uh, we're, we're seeing so many people try to try to plan that ahead, but it's still very uncertain. And we've seen businesses in this time, of uh, those who are still um, afloat some way or another, trying new ways. And you mentioned the word pivoting. I think that's crucial at this point, uh, be it through telemarketing or telecommunications at this point, or just other ways of doing business. Are there lessons here? Are there practices here that we can continue once, thankfully, all this pandemic is done? Yeah, I absolutely think that's that's going to be the case. I think you'll see whether we think about the, the behavior of, of eating out at restaurants, going to more takeout in the future, uh, the pattern of being able to, to order and deliver goods and services uh, through a, a digital platform. I think you're going to see that be a more common consumer and business to business method of a transaction. Um, and, and the likelihood that a lot of us will will work and telecommute more in the future after this, after we all have been given such a uh, a rapid education on how Zoom and digital meetings are taking place and how to how to make virtual meetings easier, uh, you'll you'll see I think more of that after this. But I think it's still too early to to think about what's next right now. Everybody's trying to to focus on the near term, trying to keep as many people employed as possible, trying to help those businesses learn how to pivot. You know their teams or their people or their services or their sales mm -hmm. yeah, keeping afloat day to day with help of the community so adam knapp thank you so much for your time tonight thank you for having me on and, and again plug our website for resources mm -hmm. uh for businesses and employers uh, employees can find information about how mm -hmm. how to get through that's it and brack.org is that right brack.org and then backslash recovery for all of our recovery resources we're updating it daily all right adam appreciate your time thank you again Thank you for having us. <laughs> All right. Take care, folks. Fox 44 News, first at 9, comes back in a moment.